Kelly Conway is actually a pseudonym for oh Taylor God. Swift. Yeah. Whoopi Goldberg is clearly tired of all the Taylor Swift talk. On a recent episode of The View, the ladies welcomed actress Bryce Dallas Howard to the table to chat about her new movie, Argyle. But when panelist Alyssa Farrah Griffin brings up a conspiracy theory about the book that the spy flick is based on, Whoopi jokingly checks out due to Taylor overload. So Argyle, as we know, yes, is Argyle, yes. <laughs> based on a book supposedly written by a spy novelist named uh, Ellie Conway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a conspiracy theory making yes. around. And um, it's actually the suit um, that Ellie Conway is actually a pseudonym <laughs> oh for God. Taylor Swift. Oh my Another God. great <laughs> fan example of how amazing fans can be when there's a lot wow. of enthusiasm. Despite Whoopi being so over the T-Swift chatter, Bryce does elaborate on the conspiracy theory and gives fans a definitive answer as to whether Taylor was the real mastermind behind the story. Taylor Swift is, is an icon and works very, very, very hard on all the things that she creates and, and we would never want to take credit for anything that you know she wasn't wow. a part of. And so um, it's, uh, yeah, so Taylor Swift did not write Argyle, but, <laughs> but, None of us, none of us really have a full understanding of the mystery around Ellie Conway. And um, Matthew Vaughn, who's the director, his daughter heard about this theory about Taylor Swift and rushed into his room and was like, why did you not tell me that Taylor Swift <laughs> wrote Argyle, <laughs> Dad? <laughs> like, you should at least be able to trust me. And he was like, mm, pardon? And went online and saw this. I and can't believe that that so is good. a theory. But Conspiracy it makes theory. sense, though. It makes sense. There are similarities. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's all subliminal, and it, or, or I should say probably, like, it, entirely subconscious and unintentional. But, um, you know, she wears a lot of argyle. There's a, a picture, there's a picture that Matthew saw of her with a cat backpack. Mm -hmm. And knowing that, you know, she is such a responsible pet guardian. Yes. Like, it was just like, okay, so what is, like, what's the, like, what's the situation where someone's carrying around a cat and it's okay? That like, went what, right what over my head <laughs> when I watched right. the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, enough yeah. with Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But since a Scottish Fold cat is one of the stars of the flick, some are tying that back to Taylor, since she's got two of the same breed at home, the famous Meredith and Olivia. Along with her third cat, Benjamin, Taylor is ride or die for her fur babies. She previously gushed about her fabulous felines to E! News at the New York City premiere of Cats in 2019. What do you think Benjamin, Meredith, and Olivia are going to say about your performance? First of all, thank you for remembering my cats. It's really beautiful. Um, they are not going to care. They don't care about anything I do. It's amazing. They do care about your new album, your new song, though, because I watched you yeah. to get their advice on the new Christmas song. But they don't care. That's the thing. I was like, what do you guys think? Drop a song? No? And they were just like... I want to know your best tip for any other cat owners at home. Uh, I mean, you know, only uh, just, you know, I think that just like, just adopt cats. Just, and, then, and then if you're lonely, then adopt another one. And then if, you know, just, and just keep it up. 